Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. I recently have some sub D video coming up and having a comments like, can we make something similar without sub D? So I would like to use this Japanese uh, Lucky Cat as a demonstration to show you, you can create something is still organic just using the Rhino surface tool. Are you ready? Let's get started. <laughs> When you try to build a model from the realistic image, it's always have nice to have an image next to it for you uh, to do the reference. Otherwise, your cat will look either too tall or too skinny or too short or something like that. I found this image from Nicole Giria website and find this is really nice proportion. So you guys can search your own cat and to trace over. So I'm going to use this one uh, to do the demonstration just for the outline. That's starting from the scratch. I didn't intend to print this one so you can do whatever size that you like. I'm going to move it this one over here and we're going to starting with the head. I always like to have the image right in the center of my construction plan. And once you have it over there and you can lock it. All right, so that's starting with the head. That's going to use the sphere. And I'm going to snap in close to the center as possible. Sometimes what you can do is just type it zero. And coming into the top view, we can decide how big we want this piece to be. Or you can just draw a sphere, whatever size, and move it up with the gumball at the front view and we can simply just sizing up like this and get it as close as possible. Once you have it over there, you can kind of use in the gumball to scale it to fitting into the outline that you like. All right. So now you can see the top is quite close, but the bottom is actually a little bit choppy there. So we need to rebuild this guy to be more points so we can play with it. And the V right now has eight. I'm going to get it into 10. And we actually don't need that many on the radio. So I'm actually going to do 10, 10 and just click OK. On the bottom, I want them to be flat. So right here on the bottom, I'm going to turn on my control point, select all the point, and using the gumball's 1D scale here, just type it zero. So then they will be flat on the bottom. And I want to uh, 3D scale it up. So that will fit into the choppy face a little bit more. We can take a look on the ghost view and see if that fit. Look like the top right here. I need to make them a little bit bigger with the uh, gumball. Okay, so now I have something like that. If you take a look on this one, notice that this is line right here, it's darker. I actually don't want to have that line over there. I want to move it to the back. So let's type it uh, 180 on the gumball to move them to the back. And so that won't interfere with my editing there. Okay, so now this is where the mouse and the nose here and I need it to, uh, to be stick it out. If I turn on the control point and I just pick up this um, point right at this point and I want to pull it out and you're going to see something like this. Right. So if that were for you, that is fine. But if for me, it is too big of the area. I actually don't want it to be that rounded. We are making the cat, not a bear. So I actually need this area to be smaller. So let's go back one step. And I actually need to make this area smaller. So that's coming into the, um, this, uh, edit point, a point edit. And I want to actually adding the control point. So I want to edit one over here, one over here, and I want to toggle one over here and one over here. Okay. So I kind of are giving a little bit more refine in this area. And what happened if I now I pick up the same point and if I move it up, 
like this. And then that way the it's not it's it's more pointed. It's not the whole area is moving. And if you feel like okay, it is still too pointed. Can I pick up more point instead of just that one point? We could. We might need to do more by adding more control point here. So I'm going to pick up the object and maybe one here, one here, toggle again, one there, one roughly here, and hit enter. All right on my top view, I'm going to pick it up all those points right there. In my front view, I'm going to holding the control and deselect those point and those point. All right. So if I moving up those, you can see it's not as pointed. And then I can pick up only this one to moving up a little bit more. All right, so you can do your own editing. Take a look on the render view and see if that is what you like there as a nose. All right, and you can maybe right at this point need to come out a little bit. Maybe this one and this one need to be narrowed a little bit. All right, so I have a nose looking things there. All right, you can also adding another piece there and bowling union together that will work too okay all right so now we have this that's uh working on the rest of the area so i'm going to again turn on the control point and maybe right here and right here and right here right here and i want them to stick it out a little bit so the eye is kind of caving a little bit um and this is kind of fun and I can actually keep doing the tweaking, but I gonna have you do that for this demonstration. I'm going to stop it here. All right. So the face is done. We want to take a look on the ear. All right. So let me trace over this ear. We are going to trace a line, something go like this one. And you can edit if it doesn't look right to you and you can true to your design or true to this cat and something like this. Then we want to do the uh, ellipse go from uh, click on the vertical first and go from here to here and decide how wide that you wanted to have the ear on the bottom. So maybe like this. Okay. So now we have that one. We want this one to be split somewhere about here. So then we have uh, all the criteria for the sweep. So we're going to do sweep to rail one, rail two, cross section, and we'll get this one. Q. All right. So then uh, you can use the cap command to close the button. So now it is solid and to making the inner ear just want to making a copy by moving the gumball, hit the alt key. Then you got this copy right there. And maybe we need it smaller, something like this. All right. Take a look. If I bullying difference, this one out of that one and see if that fitting into your design. All right. So I assume it, it fitting into your design. I'm going to mirror to the other side like this. Perfect. All right. So now we finish the head. We finish the ear. We need to work on the body. Now the body again, I'm going to create another sphere snapping into the zero and the body is going to be a little bit fatter. So coming into the front view, we're going to rebuild this guy again, do U and V for 10 and 10 and let's click. Okay. Maybe that's too fat. And then I want to turn on the control point, the bottom right here to be flat. The top, I want to moving out like this. So now the whole thing going to connect it to the neck. That's really a fat cat, but that's what the money cat is supposed to be. Again, if you see there's a line right there, this is where the seam is and I'm going to move it uh, to the back 
align to the head there that that will reduce some problem later on okay so and if you want the, the butt to be stick it out a little bit so we're gonna pick up all this point and just moving out right so it has a butt there okay um and then let's work on the fee we're still gonna use a sphere you can now you probably love a sphere because you can you can create a lot of different things with this sphere and then with this sphere I'm going to rebuild it again the same with 1010 at our front view I'm gonna make them look longer about this long I turn on the control point the bottom of them to be flat the top of them to row to be flat as well and we can move it down or something like this and we need to have this guy that's moving into the place that we wanted make them a little bit fatter in fact on the bottom here it looked like it's another sphere over there so you can use another sphere or we can try different things so let's go ahead to increasing the control point so we want to have one over here one over there so now we have more control point. Let's turn on the control point. So like all the bottom right here, it just make them fatter. And to make it more obviously, this one make them skinnier and moving up like this. So it look like there's another piece on the bottom, right? Uh, once you like it, we can kind of move it this guy back here. Whoa, it's a little bit too fat. Okay, so that's okay. We are going to scale it down like this i would like to tilt it a little bit like this we may want to adjust the bottom by turning on the control point and i would like to click on all of this hit zero flat to the bottom or something like this and then you can kind of tweak it to fitting into the design this one coming over here this one coming over here and if this is too much, we might want to bring in like this. All right, so I'm going to leave it to you for your uh, final tweaking. So that's one fee. And double check if that fee look okay on one side. Maybe they need to be fatter so they will stay better like this. They will stand better like this. Okay, all right, so if you have that, that's mirror to the other side. So we have another feed there. Cool, all right. The hand, it's going to be similar way. So I'm going to creating the sphere, this time from the front view for whatever size, and rebuild this guy to be 1010 on the U and V and make it longer. Turn on my control point, make this one flat, make this one flat. So then maybe those need to be scaled down a little bit like this. This one go higher, this one go lower. Now you look like a cucumber, but it should be fine. All right. So now we have this hand right there and the hand is actually not straight. This is actually really look like a cucumber. So I'm going to put it right here and put it somewhere down like here. All right. So first of all, we need to kind of bend this one wrapping around, right? So we're, I'm going to move it out here. It's easier for you to see. Coming into the top view, we need to have this wrapping around. So I'm going to use the bank command and starting from here, to here and bend it something look like this all right and kind of moving and see if this hugging the hand and now we can kind of tilt it a little bit and if you don't like it tilted you actually want to bend it again you could do bend and this time go from center here going up so it will bend a little bit like this and now we can move it down and now we can tilt it 
and it will get something like this. And double check if this is uh, the one that you like. If you don't like the ending right there because of a bend, you can also use the sweep too. Hand need to be bigger, tilt it a little bit more, and then we got something the holding the gold coin over there. All right. Now the very last part that we have this hand here, it will be hard for you to follow this shape by bending like what we have here. So I would like to actually use the sweep tool. So let's go ahead to create something. Always draw from inside. And I'm going to do something like here, 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 here. And coming over, follow the design as close as possible on the first try. Coming over here, here, get inside of the body, something like this. All right. And if it doesn't follow the design, you can always edit the control point. For Rhino 7 or 6, starting from 6, once you click on the uh, curve, the control point will show up automatically. But if you are in the Rhino 5, you just need to make sure the point is on or the hot key for F10. All right, so now you have this one. We need to sweep. So we need to have two rails that split this guy with the point somewhere over here. Okay, so I got rail one, rail two, and I just need a cross section. So that's making a circle. We're going to use this uh, diameter and we want to make sure vertical is click snapping here to here. And then, so we have that. Let's take a look on the sweep. We're going to sweep to rail one, rail two, cross section. And we'll get something like this. Now, if this doesn't look too nice over here, you can actually add slash somewhere here, somewhere there to address that. So it, the cross section will look nicer. So let's click OK. Then we get something like this. All right. So we have all the component and they all solid. So this one needs to be kept as well. All we have now is the gold coin. So we're going to coming over here. I'm going to use the rectangle conic corner to create something similar like this. All right. And bring this one over here, scale it up to the size and tilt it into the right size and maybe scale it down one D a little bit to fit it better. All right, so once it's fit, I'm going to bring the curve outside and let's go ahead to extrude it straight for something like this. And I actually wanted to um, fit at the edges. So let's fit it something about one. I think is fine. Only the front. The back is going to be bowling into the body, so it doesn't matter if it's fitted or not. In fact, if you don't fit it, it will be better. Double check if it's everything is look okay. I think the the feet need to be fatter in some way, but I'm going to leave it that to you. So I'm going to unlock this picture and hide it and we can examine if everything look okay. So the hand right here look like it's a little bit too sticky out. So I'm going to move it in and maybe rotate it a little bit like this. So now it is the most difficult part. Uh, why I say it's most difficult is because if you look at the render view, you're going to see they look like clay stick together. It doesn't look too nice. Now I look at the render view, the feet need to come out for sure. It's a, a little bit like uh, stick it inside too much. All right. So what we wanted to do to make it look really nice is we need to all of them is either blended in the surface or some sort of the fitted edges. And to make sure the fit it work really well, how you fit it, it's quite important. So let's take a look on the body first. This is the biggest fillet. So we wanted to do the head and the body. And in fact, I might want to have this control point. Just scale it down a little bit. It looks smoother. This one coming out just a little bit. 
like this. Okay, so now let's go ahead to have this one, this one, Boolean union, and we want to give it a big fitted. So fitted edges, let's try 1.5. Okay, all right, so that's the first one. The second one, I actually want to try the fee. So let's go ahead to Boolean Union, all those three. And we want to try the fitted for this one for something smaller, maybe one. You see, this is a little bit too tight there. As you can see, this edge is there. So we want to try something smaller, maybe 0.6, because that is a tight curve over there. All right, it's much better. So we know six will work on the other side as using the same number. Okay, it worked there. So the feed is done and you wanted to uh, doing any of the editing uh, before you actually make them into one piece because now it is a poly surface. So you want to turn on a control point. It will tell you that you can now turn on the point for the poly surface. All right, so this is really, really important. Now I need to have this one and maybe want to move it down a little bit because it's too close to where that first fitted. So we want this one and this one bowling union. And then let's go ahead to try to fit it for 0.6 and see what happened. Double make sure that this is the area I usually have the problem so that fitted will work. Now, this hand, as you can see, it's in between the first fitted and that's where you usually have the problem. So I'm going to move the hand down and then we are going to bowling union this one. And let's try to fit it for that one as well. Okay, that work. And since we have a more distance, so you can try a bigger fitted if you want to. And then for this guy, we already fitted the front. So this one can be just simply just bowling union together. All right. And the ear, I actually don't want it to be fitted in between because I do want them to look like it is sticking into the head. Double check with the render view. And that will be our waving lucky cat tutorial. I hope you enjoy this one. Let me know how you like it. Again, now I'm looking the feed. The feed does look like those Star Wars robot. But anyway, you get the point for the rendering. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.